Onshape added the capability to create exploded views in your assemblies and drawings. And here's the cool thing. Since Onshape is software as a service, the new functionality was just automatically pushed out to me. Let's take a look at how we can do this. So first off, I'm going to go to the right hand side of the screen and we have the ability to bring out the exploded views flyout. Here it tells me that I can add an exploded view. I'll click on the button. And so right now I've got explode one open. Here's an indication that I am editing explode one. Let's collapse the instances list. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and let's grab our first component that we want to move. I'll click on it and you get the directions that you can use for dragging it out. I'm just going to drag it out along that direction over there. And here I get the explode step one dialog box. If I want to drag it out an exact value, I can type that value inside of here. Also from the drop down list, I can change from translation to rotation. I can add other additional components to this particular step. And if I want to use a different direction than what will, one of the ones that was suggested to me, I could use that inside of here. But I'm happy with what I had. Let's hit the check mark. And now explode step one is created. Let's create a, another step. I'll click on this component and then drag it out over here. And once again, I can enter in the exact value that I want it to be spaced. That's good for explode step two. I'll hit the check mark. Notice that you have a roll bar here that you can drag up and down if you want to start inserting at different locations. But I'm just gonna start off with my biggest components. And let's drag this one up a little distance. Now let's make this a value of 60. Hit the check mark and that is good. Let's see, I've got a few bearings I wanna move out. Let's move them out and I'll drag this out over here. And for some reason I feel the need to change the numbers for these different values. And let's see, let's grab this one. And at this point you can see how easy it is. And I know I've only been selecting individual components. Let's take a look if we want to move multiple components at once. So let me start off by translating everything over. Here I have, let's see, first I wanna do the bolts. So let's select them and I'm selecting three of them. And then let's drag this out over here and specify the value and hit the check mark. Now I still have the washers that I want to move. So let's say that I select one of them and then drag it out over here. And I've got that position. Then I realize, oh wait, you know what? I also want this one in here as well. So you notice it automatically moves it out too. Let's change this to a number and I'll hit the check mark. You'll notice I left one of the washers and I'll show you how you can come back to that to fix it. And that is in explode step seven. And then let's grab this one and this one and we will drag them upwards about over here. Again, specify the number and hit the check mark. And I take a look and I'm like, hey, yeah, my explode state looks pretty, pretty good so far. But then I realize, oh, I forgot one of these and it should really be moved out with this one over here. And since I happen to know that it's explode step seven, I can double click on it and it opens up the dialog box. And then I can add in the additional component that I want to be part of it. And it is updated. And like I mentioned, you have the roll bar over here if you want to roll back to a previous step. One thing I realized here is I actually want these particular bolts here to be translated before this one over there. So let's reorder some of the different steps. And let's see, I select, let's deselect everything, explode step eight over here. Uh, it might help if I say, hey, the, let's rename this, and this is going to be for the cylinder bolts. And let's see if I click on explode state. Let me deselect and then select this over here. So here we have the cylinder, and I can rename this and call it there so I know what it is. And that way I can say, hey, you know what? This one should really be above over here. And similarly, 
Here are the nuts. Here are the bolts. Let me call these the rear block bolts. Again, it's just a great way of keeping organized. And this one is going to be renamed to the rear block washers. And I can select these two and drag both of them up above explode step one, which is actually the rear block. And again, if I want to go overboard, I can rename all these different steps in here. So I'm aware of what all the steps do inside the model. So this is good over here. I've got my explode state, excuse me, exploded view. Let me use the correct terminology. I'll click the done button and everything goes back and I can double click explode one to get back to the exploded view. Let's close this and I don't know who cares about that. Uh, let's now collapse. Actually, let's go back to the explode over here. And I like how the models are oriented. So I can go to the drop down here and choose to create a new named view. And I'll call this ISO for my view. That's good. Everything is great. Collapse this down. I can click done out of there. Let me go over to my drawing. So here's sheet one of a drawing I did where I showed how to do a bill of materials. Right now I've got my sheets tab open. We can insert a new sheet. And on the new sheet, let me hit the refresh button to just make sure that I'm updated with the latest of the assembly. And now I can insert a view. And for the view orientation, I want to use that ISO view that I just created. And here's the drop down where you can choose to use an explode. And I'll choose explode one and then drop it over here. And it's placed on the drawing sheet. Next up, if I want to have the bill of materials on this sheet, it's still configured properly the way that I set it up on the other sheet. And just like before, if I want to insert the different callouts, I can do that as well. And let's create it over here on the various different components. And let's do one more. So in that way, you can set up your exploded views in the assembly, use them on the drawings, and use them with your bills of material and your callouts. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.